20 bucks. Now, I kind of went through a few different things here trying to decide what I want to do. And I know for me, if I'm kind of stomping the yard or just walking around, I want to get at least like a pump action marker, a mop, and maybe a streaker to hit a few different surfaces that may suit me well. And I think I got a really great kit here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. We got a uni broad paint marker. This is a pump action paint marker with a chisel type nib. Let's go ahead and get a nice close up here so you guys can see it. For those who know, they know. But for those who don't know, this is an excellent oil-based paint marker. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Uh, again, pump action nib. We got nibs available. You can refill these with marsh. Excellent marker. Up next is the OTR 007 sole tip. Uh, you know, I just kind of threw this in as a wild card. It's not something I normally carry, but I know a lot of people like these, uh, uh, dare I say, cute little markers. Uh, this has a very small nib, as you can see here. I think it's a seven millimeter. These are alcohol based, uh, so they aren't gonna be quite as durable as the oil based stuff, uh, but they don't stink as much. So if you're doing indoor stuff or situations where uh, it's not gonna be too wet or anything like that, it should be fine. Uh, it should, will be okay with the UV aspects. Uh, this is a you know regular white mop ink. Uh, but the oil-based stuff definitely works in a more rough situation. Uh, again, different markers for all kinds of situations. Up next is our Primo uh, Spring Fever Mop with our own top secret formula. Uh, it is a very, very nice riding mop marker. This is a black one, of course. This comes with a Art Primo Drip Mop nib. A very famous Art Primo Drip Mop. Let's go ahead and take a look at that right there. Don't get too close. You guys can see that. Squeezable body. Uh, liquid mop ink inside of that. Very, very cool. Oh, it's so cold out right now, man. Okay, up next is the Art Primo Hobo Marker. This is a solidified paint stick. It is covered completely with a scab. So before you begin to write it, you have to make sure you peel that scab off. And I will show you guys right now. Just find a nice rough surface. Uh, let's see here, this bolt right here should do me. And you'll just kind of peel off that scab. And then underneath, you will find the creamy middle. Yeah, make sure you get plenty of that scab off. Shut up, crow. <laughs> uh, that crow is talking shit. Okay, so let's start with the hobo since we're out of here. We're over here playing with this hobo marker. I don't think the crows like me too much. Uh, let's just do the word test here real quick. I don't have a tripod, so it's a little bit difficult here. I'm just holding the camera. All right, as you can see, the hobo will write on a variety of rough surfaces. You can see it's very, uh, very oily and gross. Bro, what is going on up there? Crows are beefing. Uh, okay, so as you can see, the hobo works really well. So if you like to do some tags, you can see that you'll get a very nice good right with it. It's not the cleanest looking, don't get me wrong. I don't think those crows really like me being here. <laughs> All right, so you can see I wrote the word Kevin here. Again, very easy to write with. We'll write on a variety of surfaces. Um, very fantastic marker. This is what I like about doing this kind of stuff, because you never know what you're going to run into when you're out here stomping the yard. There's some kind of chaos happening, you know? <laughs> All right, shout out to Mooton ASF, ASCF. That looks like a, looks like a solid marker too as well. Right on most surfaces, uh, whether it's wet, uh, oily, or whatever, the Hobo marker will be your best bet for any altering writing. Excellent. All right, up next. It's kind of fun, but I'm freezing my balls off. Uh, okay. Up next is the Art Primo Drip Mop with the Spring Fever Ink. Fantastic marker. You can get these empty as well, uh, but this is a 420 video. I wanted to get you four markers for 20 bucks. Filled, not empty. That was kind of my uh, parameters here. Let's go ahead and get the nib going. Look at that nice dark ink. And again, we'll go ahead and test it out here. As you can see, it writes very nice. I don't know why I'm writing Kevin today. It's just a name that popped in my head. <laughs> but it does write really, really well. And this surface is really not the best surface to be writing on, uh, but it's okay. It's still writing really nicely. And not that the fact that the surface is, uh, what do I say, rough or anything like that. It's just really dirty, so it's really eating up the ink as I write with it. So that's the Drip Mop Mini. Oh, damn. This fool's pulling up on me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I better get out of here. I think I'm about to get rolled on. That's the way it be sometimes. All right. Let's get rolling. What up, bub? Oh, check out this. This is like some ultimate cutback work, man. 
This is Blacksmith's. Very, very cool. All right, I think there's a train going by. Again, we're always stomping the yard over here, but I often don't do these type of videos. And I think, uh, I think I should because, you know, it's just kind of fun to see what's out there. Get out in the world, get away from the warehouse. What's up, Argo and Rim? Uh, what else is over here? What else is over here? Oh, we still gotta do some more markers, don't we? All right, let's get the uni out. Now, I was gonna do a fresh uni, but I don't wanna pull that out of our inventory because we're kind of low on unis right now. We will be getting more in very soon. Uh, so I'm gonna use my used uni. I got a used one right here. All right, hold on a second here. Oh, there we go, look at that. See, this is what a graffiti marker should look like. This is exactly what they should look like. That means you use it. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is my nib is very, or my cap is very tight on there. Let me get that off, don't want to use my teeth. Let's go ahead and pump the nib here. Make sure, all right, just gotta check behind me, make sure that guy isn't watching me. As always, some fool rolls up on me when I start a video. It's always some fat dude, too. <laughs> Gio, you kind of chubby, too. I know, I know I am. I should probably lose some weight. Uh, okay. Again, I don't have a tripod today, so I'm sorry. This is very, uh, what's the term? Cinema verite, I think is the term. And this is also that guy, the blacksmith dude. Uh, lots of cutbacks, lots of cutbacks in here. Very well executed cutbacks, by the way, too. I know some people don't like cutbacks, but that's that Cali style, homie. You gotta, you gotta get those nice, solid cuts up in there. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on a little bit. Just get away from that guy. Uh, let's see. Oh, that says parts with the brave use of pink on a rail car. Wow, that'll be gray in about a year. <laughs> Shout out the parts, big ups on me. All right, let's uh, let's do a couple quick tags. This is the uni broad. Again, it's four markers, twenty bucks. Can't beat it. Now the unis, we got replaceable nibs for these. So if you guys uh, end up messing up your nib, let us know. Uh, we have nibs available. They are fantastic markers. As you can see, this one writes very nice. Uh, what am I writing? Oh, Steve. There we go. Shout out to Steve. Big Steve in the house. And let's see. Whoa, look at that fade right there. I love faded graffiti. Very, very cool. And let's see. One more tag. Again, this is the Uni Broad paint, Pump Action Paint Marker. You guys can see right here. Very, very cool. All right. Let's write. Shout out to Gear. Very, very nice. Okay, so that is the Uni Broad Pump Action Marker. Fantastic marker, and I don't think that guy's following me. He's got <laughs> Can't be too careful, though. He can't be too careful. All right, let's put the cap on this. Now, one thing I recommend about the Unis is if you're out and about, when you get home at night, make sure you wipe this part inside of the cap and around the rim of the, uh, the valve body because it will get stuck on there. Okay, so up last is the OTR sole tip. I kind of want to do this as like a wild card because it's not something I normally carry, but again, I know people love these cute little markers. And uh, let me just squeeze that out there. Look at that, nice, nice white ink. Looks like titanium white. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick tag with it here. Oh, that's not the marker's fault, that's my fault. Now, one thing you'll notice with the alcohol-based inks is when you write on a rough surface, they do tend to look a little bit more streaky, uh, but you're still getting some nice drips and stuff, and for a white ink, that's actually pretty decent. Look okay, at nice drips, nice flow. Uh, the oil-based stuff definitely does last a lot longer. That's my experience. All right, let's look at this surface right here. Look at all this, look at all this crazy in the paint right there, isn't it? Oops. All right, let's see here. What was I writing, Steve? Big ups to Steve. Man, this thing is so tiny. <laughs> now, on this surface, is actually kind of good because it's soaking right in. Look at it in the cracks right there. I hope I'm not getting too close that it's blurry. This camera doesn't focus very closely. Let me see, there we go. Look at that. Very, very cool. Yeah, so that's the, that's the uh, OTR 007. So you can pretend you're a little spy on the, on the case, if you will. Sit up Sean. Again, 007, a lot of fun, very small nibs. If you like those little tiny little doodads, I think you guys will really enjoy this mop. And again, this is four markers for $20. You'll have a lot of fun with these. Uh, I definitely recommend getting some refills, but again, it's a 420 video, a 420 day. <laughs> Damn. 
<laughs> Tell us how you really feel. This looks like a local, actually, because it's got a lot of stuff on it. I bet this thing shuttles around between some very specific places. TFD. I like those hand styles. Very cool. Whoa. Psychedelic, bro. Looks like it says Tons. Yeah, it's the same guy, Tons, again. Yeah, this must be their little local uh, gondola train. I'm sorry, not gondola, double stack. Wow, look at that. So faded. Whoa, is that roller paint? What is going on there, dude? That is so weird. I think that's roller. I think they painted this with roller. Yeah, they did. Oh, that's crazy. It must have been interior paint. Well, I wish I could read it, homie. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and keep walking here. This thing's hit with a lot, actually. This looks like it says, wow, look at that, it's so wild, dude. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, guys. It looks like I am being followed, so let's go ahead and scooch out of the yard here, this little LSD PhD. What's up, man? All right, I'm, I'm walking out, don't worry, don't worry. Calm down. All right, <laughs> we gotta go, guys. Shout out to Palm. Peace.